Happy Equilux, Colorado. Today, this September the 25th, we have exactly 12 hours of equal daylight and equal nighttime on the September the 25th. And I know what you're going. I know what you're saying right now. You're going, no, 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 you're wrong. You're probably already starting to comment, put down your phones. No, 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 you're wrong. It was on Monday when we had the autumnal equinox. Nope, that is not the case. Today is the day where Colorado, much of the Northern Hemisphere, and by the way, the middle latitudes of the Southern Hemisphere as well, uh, this is where we have exactly those 12 hours of equal daylight and nighttime. Reason being, the light from the atmosphere is refracted, and that essentially bends the light. It gives us what we see with the sunrise and the sunset. It's a slight bit of an illusion that light is bent, it is refracted. It's the same process that leads, for example, to rainbows. Rainbows obviously are not a real object in the sky, but because of the positioning of the light, it bends the light and it creates what you see in the rainbow. Same idea with the sunlight and the sunset and the sun rises as well. So that's why today, because of that slight bending and the, by the way, size of the solar disk, those two reasons are the reason that today is the day that we actually have 12 hours of equal daylight and equal nighttime, not only for Colorado, by the way. By the way, that is the case. I've looked at all the cities. Denver, Colorado Springs, Grand Junction. Yes, that's the case for all those cities. It's much the case for many of the northern uh, hemisphere middle latitudes as well. Final thing I'll note um, is that we actually in Denver today have 12 hours and 13 seconds of daylight, but it is by far the closest day that we have two equal 12 hours of daylight and nighttime for us.